Money's a big part of it. But it's more than money. Bureaucrats who either don't know or don't care also play a big role in the dangerous condition of the schools that thousands of New Mexico children attend. News 13 investigative reporter Larry Barker exposed the dangers last night. Tonight, he goes after the people in charge. The whole system should be indicted for what happens on these uh, Native American reservations and in the schools. In many cases, especially in remote locations, there are Indian children at risk due to code deficiencies in the schools. We're talking about Native American children who attend reservation schools run by the Bureau of Indian Affairs. It's one of the biggest public school systems in the country. Our two-year investigation found thousands of Indian children in jeopardy due to BIA negligence. Senator Tom Udall calls it a national disgrace. I've been to almost all of the BIA schools in New Mexico. I've seen the kind of degradation and deficiencies and health and safety problems, and it's appalling. 275 Indian children attend the BIA's Pine Hill School on the Navajo Reservation south of Rama. Take a look around and start in the gym restrooms. Is this uh, ADA compliant? Uh, no. Now, what if there's a fire in a classroom? None of these doors are compliant with the fire code. Currently, no, not now. And if you thought the fire alarm worked properly, well, think again. None comply with the fire code. Not in the library, not the elementary school, mid-school, high school, the maintenance shop, and not in the new dormitory. If there's a blaze here, kids as young as six years old won't hear the alarm. It's a signal silence. What does that mean? They had to uh, signal. Had to, yeah, they had to silence the alarm. That so they, they, set it off. the alarm won't go off right now? Um, yeah, as long as it's silenced, it's not. So this is a big deal. Yeah. Charles Janes ran the BIA's safety office for 26 years. He's now retired. How big of a deal is an inoperative fire alarm system at a remote BIA school? Oh, it's, it's an absolutely critical thing because unlike schools in metropolitan areas like Albuquerque, there's no help for most of these people. Malfunctioning fire alarms are considered critical safety violations. A routine inspection would have uncovered the problem at Pine Hill, but BIA safety inspectors haven't been here in more than a decade. In fact, documents show the agency has failed to perform annual safety inspections at most of its schools in the southwest region. It's totally shocking. That means that there's a 50-50 chance that something's wrong out there and we don't know about it. Today, do you know whether all the schools in the southwest region are safe? No, sir. William Walker is the newly appointed director of the BIA's Southwest Region. It is the Bureau's job to do safety inspections. You would acknowledge in the Southwest Region the record is terrible. Dismal. Yes, sir. Is this acceptable? No, sir. Not at all. Even though annual inspections are required, in 2007 the BIA failed to inspect any schools in the Southwest Region Last year, only three out of 36 got a visit from an inspector. Buck stops with me. I'm the regional director. That's my job to make sure they get done. If they don't get done, this time next year, you can come and hold me accountable, sir. It's not just the southwest region. Our investigation finds nationwide the BIA routinely neglects dangerous conditions at its schools. Deficiencies often go uncorrected for years. For example, fire alarms at the Alamo school are so old they can't even get parts. Inspectors slap the school with a safety violation. Alamo was directed to bring its alarm system into compliance within 30 days. That was years ago. The BIA says it simply doesn't have the money to replace the alarm. Things go on the backlog. If it's an item of $2,500 or more, It'll have to go on the backlog. They can be on there for a long, long time, three years. At Borrego Pass, they can't even afford to connect the alarm to the fire department. If there's a fire, will the alarm ring here at the fire department? No, sir. It's not tied into the... Not yet, not yet. Like at midnight, there's a fire in one of the school buildings. How would... 
the fire department know that? We have a fire watch that uh, comes on, and we have a person that is keeping an eye on the place. The BIA's neglect caught the attention of a federal watchdog. The agency's inspector general noted BIA school deficiencies have the potential to seriously injure or kill students and faculty. By what stretch of the imagination are these statistics acceptable? They're not acceptable and they are in violation of several federal regulations. We're aware of the problem and we're trying to address it. Larry Echohawk is in charge of the Bureau of Indian Affairs. There have been some very dark chapters in American history where the federal government has failed miserably to meet its obligations, its promises to Native people. Echo Hawk says his problem is trying to address decades of neglect. Pretty much anybody that knows about, you know, what's happening in the country realizes that we are woefully uh, underfunded. We don't have the resources available to take care of the job that we have to do. So what's it going to take to fix all the schools? Echo Hawk testified before the Senate Indian Affairs Committee. $1.3 billion. 1.3 billion. billion. Okay, and and under your obviously under your current uh, funding levels that you've requested, there's no way you could wipe that out, Mr. Chairman and uh, Senator Udall. There's no way. Well, there are faults at the BIA, but there are faults all the way up the chain uh, to the president and to the Congress for not aggressively stepping in and, and doing something here. Native children shouldn't be in any different category than any other kid in America. And it's, it's, it's a big deal. Why should a child go to any school in America and the most basic safety issues don't get addressed? Our children deserve a safe and secure school system. And if it's not safe, they should not be allowed to go to school there. But at remote reservation outposts, these kids have no choice. They're here to learn hazards or not. For them, having doors in the bathroom stalls or a working fire alarm is just a dream. Can we afford to fix all those problems? We can't afford not to. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. You just have to wonder, despite the backlog, the BIA has reduced its school construction budget by $9 million. Today, Santa Fe Congressman Ben Ray Lujan asked the Secretary of the Interior to launch an investigation into this scandal that Larry Barker has uncovered. For an online tour of the BIA schools, extended interviews, and more, simply go to krqe.com.